553 on this Monday morning. Welcome back to Coastal Sunrise. Savannah is known for its history with many local organizations working to preserve many of the sites that helped shape our city. Right now, there is a spotlight on the Kaya House Museum. WSAV's Penny Turner shows us the efforts underway to save it. Drive down West 36th Street in Savannah and you'll see this. This big two-story home, an older vacant and decaying home that really stands out because of a huge section on the front of the house that's all boarded up. I've been in a lot of vacant historic homes mm -hmm. uh, in the last six plus years and this is amongst one of the worst just in terms of condition. Ryan Arve is the Director of Preservation and Historic Properties for the Historic Savannah Foundation, or HSF. This house in particular has been on HSF's radar screen for many, many years. We were aware of its significance. We were aware of its condition. Significant because of who used to live there, Virginia Jackson Kaya. She was a recognized artist in her day, and her role in Savannah uh, drew a lot of people to visit her, including some famous people. Uh, Rosa Parks visited her here at the house. Uh, it's rumored that Duke Ellington uh, paid a visit here. She was also a well-known educator, community activist, and civil rights advocate. She bought this house in 1959, and she and her husband Calvin worked together to make this into a learning museum that was open to all Savannah residents. That was significant in 1959 because of segregation laws. Virginia herself could not attend other museums throughout the South. She couldn't have her own artwork exhibited in these museums. So she wanted to create a learning museum where African-American children especially could come and be exposed to art and science and natural exhibits. That brings us back to this big section on the front of the home that's all boarded up. This is how it used to look. The Kayas have placed big glass windows there to allow in lots of natural light to display her artwork. Ms. Kaya was predominantly a very accomplished, very talented portrait artist, but she, she had a really great hand and really understood color. That color and vibrancy once filled her home. You know, you can still go up the stairs and see marks of where the old paintings used to hang and you can match that up exactly with this picture we have of her standing on the staircase. You can see kind of what hung where. So it, we hope to kind of bring you know that life back to the house. Ryan Arve says the historic Savannah Foundation has secured a contract to buy the property and restore it, but he says their hands are tied until legal issues are resolved. We obtained the contract well over a year and a half ago but are still waiting for, for, for this thing to, to come to a close. It has to make its way through the courts. It has to receive approval from a judge, mm -hmm. and, and that just hasn't happened yet. We want it to have a happy ending. I think we're in a good position to save it. Probably the best chances the house has ever had, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of uncertainty. Uncertainty like the shaky ground that the Kaya House now stands on. That's what HSF wants to change so they can preserve the legacy of Virginia Jackson Kaya upon a more solid foundation. Patty Turner, WSAV News 3 on your side.